All right, ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Addy, again, and another day, another crazy epic video game event. That one being the Nintendo Direct that took place today on June 18th, 2024, just a little over an hour ago now. And because I slept pretty dang late last night, unfortunately, I'm just going to come out and say it, slept through the event this morning. I really did want to check it out live with you folks. But just because we couldn't make that happen doesn't mean that we can't make this happen right now. And what this is, is me checking out, just like with the Xbox Games Showcase video I did last time, some of the highlights from the Nintendo Direct event that took place earlier today. And believe you me, this was a crazy event. There were some amazing, amazing things revealed, amongst which two things really piqued my interest. Can you guess what the first thing was? Does, does my shirt... Does my shirt give it away? That's right, and my dog named Link is barking too because he's excited for a very obvious reason. The game that was revealed was a brand new Zelda game. It's called The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom and is made in the style of the Link's Awakening remake. Very colorful, vibrant, whimsical, top-down Zelda game that we haven't seen in a hot minute that I am so excited to get my hands on. I saw a brief snippet of the trailer, but I decided I want to check out the rest with you guys as always. And the second game, and this one I'm admittedly a little more excited for even though I'm a massive Zelda fan. Uh, this is a new Mario and Luigi game. And I honestly can't believe I'm saying those words considering just how long it's been since the last one. I think it's been like 15 years or something like that. And what's even crazier for me is I didn't even play the last one. I think the only one that I really played was Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which was a really amazing game to me growing up. This is one of my favorite games ever made. So just to hear this series returning warms my heart because of how much I loved this game and... The many, many times I replayed it growing up because it was that special to me. And this should go without saying, but yeah, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga is definitely my favorite Mario game, like, ever. So yeah, we have two pretty epic trailers to check out today. I know a lot of other crazy, amazing jazz happened too during uh, the Nintendo Direct event earlier today. Yeah, just like with the Xbox Game Showcase, I saw a huge list of a lot of things that were revealed that I'm sure a lot of people are really, really excited for, and I'm really happy for those folks. But yeah, so I'm checking out the whole thing together. We're just going to see the two things from this list that really jumped out to me, and that, yeah, I can't wait to watch with you guys right now. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, folks, here we go. So we're going to be checking out the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom trailer first. Really stoked to look at this with you guys. It's a four minute gameplay overview uh, with the official announcement by Nintendo during the direct events. From what little I understand going into this trailer, it's a Zelda game where we get to play as Zelda for one of the very first times, which is kind of freaking awesome. This is one of the rare Zelda games where you actually don't play as Link himself. Sorry, just checking to make sure my dog Link isn't barking in anger. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this. I'm really excited to see this. Give me that switch click. God, I wish we watched this stuff live, man. I'm kind of bummed out once again about that, but... All right, here we go. Oh, it would have been such a nice surprise. If I didn't know that you play a Zelda in this. So it starts off as Link, like normal. So you think it's going to be maybe a, a Link to the Past remake, or a, a remake of another Z uh, Zelda game? Where you play as Link. And then the surprise hits you that it's a brand new one where you play as Zelda here. Knowing that though, I, I appreciate the trailer way more from the get-go. So yeah, this is the this is one where Link is in trouble and he gets taken away. Now Zelda's freed and you play as her. So cool. I gotta say, I love this aesthetic and style, right? It's the same as the one they used for the Link's Awakening remake. So beautiful. I've been itching for another one of these kind of games ever since I played the Link's Awakening remake. <laughs> Shit. And the best the echoes of wisdom. There it is. Glad you guys can see that on the top left. Music is incredible as always. Hello everyone. What's up, Anuma? I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Let's go. The GOAT. What you just Love saw Zelda, man. The latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. This is a cool-ass concept. Roles are swapped. Fight with a sword, then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. 
To explain more, please take a look at this video. Yes, I shall. Yeah, so I'm curious what the gameplay is going to be like. Away, across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. No! Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri. <laughs> it's like the navy of the game. Staff ...called the Tri-Rod and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. Cool, so she has like the staff. the tri-rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Oh. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Oh, so that's Even the core gameplay. A wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables. To that's get cool. Out. So she creates copies of things like that. to traverse the world. Yeah, the you level traversal and puzzles boxes, are the best parts of Zelda. Old beds and unusual things like water blocks. Oh, How yeah. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. That's sick. Learn and create <laughs> echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. Nintendo have my utmost respect for what they do with the Zelda series. Always so inventive. Always. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create no way. of monsters. And create After enemy copies? So, they'll fight by your side. Oh shit, that's sick. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want. And dude, getting monsters to fight for you is a pretty rare concept in Zelda, right? Wisdom is key after all. That's sick. Love it, man. Really, this music has low-key got me in the feels. Like, it's very powerful, the OST in these Zelda games. So good. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's... Damn, got the Deku tree back, too. Got, like, every biome from the games here. How was that? Loved it. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot... <laughs> Echoes of wisdom. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. He said the thing. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. I love that. The right? Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. Hey, we have a release date. Lots of stuff coming Nintendo out around the fall period. Inspired by the Legend of Lots Zelda of stuff. We got a lot of gaming to do. <laughs> we got to switch this shit too. To playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Oh man, dude, I could not be more excited. I need the game right now. <laughs> Don't worry, Mario and Luigi Brothership. We're about to watch you soon. So yeah, there you have it, guys. That was Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. A brand new game within the Legend of Zelda franchise. I was not expecting that. Typically, there is a long period of time between each big mainline Legend of Zelda game release, right? Like, we just got Tears of the Kingdom a little over a year ago. And granted, even though it's a much bigger budget Zelda game, and this one kind of deviates from that and is one of the smaller projects that they've been working on, it's still such a breath of fresh air to see a smaller Zelda game that isn't a remake and is instead something that's brand new. And like I said, while we were checking out the trailer, I love the inventiveness and creativity behind each Zelda game and the, all the thought and care that goes into making the traversal of the worlds within them so unique and engaging for the player. And to me, it kind of seems like Nintendo is following a certain theme here between this and Tears of the Kingdom, which came out last year, with the whole concept of let the player make what they want. And in Tears of the Kingdom, you could quite literally do this, right? That the world was your creative oyster. You could create any sort of wacky contraption and vehicle or device that you wanted to in order to traverse various parts of the world differently than another player would, with the only limit being your imagination. And that goes to wisdom. You could pretty much do the exact same thing thing just to a smaller scale obviously with the whole concept of being able to create copies to approach the world differently from other players right you create copies slash echoes as the game calls it of various objects enemies and so on and so forth in order to get around places and I think that's going to be really fun and for that reason alone I can't wait to get my hands on it on top of the fact of course that you for once get to play as Zelda and not Link right the concept of that is so interesting to me how they kind of flip the tables around, and now you have Link who's in trouble, and Zelda's gotta go save him. It also makes me wonder why this game wasn't called The Legend of Link. It seems kind of like a missed opportunity, but at the same time, I love this title, man. The subtitles within The Legend of Zelda games just never miss, right? Echoes of Wisdom goes hard. That is a cool-ass title, and I, I love to see it, and 
I would also love to play it. So September couldn't get here sooner. I'm going to stop talking about this game because the more I talk about it, the sadder I'm going to get that September isn't here. So anyways, let's get on to the next big thing, which I'm actually more excited for, believe it or not, like I said, than um, Echoes of Wisdom here, even though I think this is something I'm incredibly stoked for. And so we have got Mario and Luigi Brothership here, the announcement trailer from the Nintendo Direct a couple hours ago. This is a shorter trailer coming in at 2 minutes and 10 seconds, but hey, I'll even if it's one second worth of a trailer for a new Mario and Luigi game, I'll take it, man. I'm going to make a whole ass video just like this one uh, for that, <laughs> you know? So yeah, that's how hyped I am for anything Mario and Luigi related. And I love this title, man. Brothership. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now because I cannot wait to see what the gameplay is like. The, the gameplay of Mario and Lu of the Mario and Luigi games is the best part, right? Besides the story and the dialogue and all that stuff, like just the RPG elements is the way you like in Echoes of Wisdom and a Zelda game, you traverse the levels. That is 100% my favorite part of all this crazy stuff. Ooh, shit, dude, I love the art style. It's almost like... I don't know how you describe the style. Lines are a little bit bolder, right? On all the artwork. Luigi being a klutz as always. Alright, here we go. Oh man, just seeing the logo... That gets me. Oh, jeez, dude. Wait, is this like... Oh, no, it's a full 3D game. Nice. Yeah, like, this is what I was talking about. Like, just Mario and Luigi running around together and they, them having to work together to get through the levels. Level design was, like, second to none in, in these games, I swear. And once again, Mario and Luigi is, like, one of my favorite games ever made. Uh, the Superstar Saga one, to be specific. So get shot between the different biomes. Combat time, dude. Let's go. Yeah, the combat, just the the gameplay overall in general, like from the combat to the level traversal, absolute best parts about this. Specifically because of how you got to work together with the Mario Bros. The most fun turn-based combat ever, if not the most fun turn-based combat I've ever played. And all the puzzles and stuff. But yeah, just like, dude, the hammers are so satisfying to use. Hell yeah. Bowser back in his flower pot. <laughs> the latest one we played was, uh, the latest Mario game we played. Holy shit, wait. Yeah, the fireball, I forgot about that. Brothership. Keep reading it's brothership and not brotherhood. But yeah, like I said, and this comes out on November 7th. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All of this is still within this year. I'm very happy about that. That's all That's all I need is just for these games to come out this year. I'm I'm okay even if they come out literally on December 31st or something like that, as long as it's within 2024. Because otherwise I can't wait that long for these amazing games. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying during the trailer, but I couldn't finish my thought because I was so enamored with everything. Uh, the latest Mario game that I played was, of course... Dude, I'm trying to remember what it was called. What the heck? Super Mario Wonder, of course, right? A return to form with classic 2D platforming elements. Such an amazing, wonderful, sorry, no pun intended, game uh, that I had a blast playing. Nintendo never fails when it comes to Mario stuff. And I believe there was also a new Mario Party game announced at this Nintendo Direct as well. Probably not going to check that out with you guys today because I've never really been into Mario Party that much. Not because I don't like the games, but just because I never played any of them and it never really clicked with me. But sorry, I digress. Let's get back on track here with uh, Mario & Luigi Brothership. It looks amazing. This looks like yet another one of Nintendo's projects where... They return to a series they haven't visited in a very long time, but continue to evolve it with, you know, modern standards and gameplay elements, whilst retaining what made the classics so special to people. Like, everything I saw in this trailer and Echoes of Wisdom made me harken back to a lot of the things that I loved growing up about these franchises. The art style looks incredible, like I pointed out while we were watching this trailer. The level traversal, combat, and minigames look really fun too, with Mario and Luigi using some of their old tech to get through this world. In addition to some new things we saw, like a bunch of uh, abilities and transformations and stuff like that, all of it just meshed together really well in Superstar Saga from what I remember growing up, and I can't wait to see how it's 
evolved in this title here, especially with all the RPG mechanics they're going to throw in if there are going to be any. Super Mario RPG is the latest RPG-esque Mario that we played, at least the remake to it, so I can't wait to see more stuff like that in this title between the Mario Brothers. That's going to be amazing. One really interesting thing that I noticed, though, while watching this is that I don't think we know who the developers are behind this uh, new entry into the Mario & Luigi series. I am aware that I think Alpha Dream, they were called, uh, were shut down a very long time ago, so that's w largely why it actually lost a lot of hope for the Mario & Luigi franchise, uh, and why I never thought something like this could happen, and why I'm so happy that it's happening. So yeah, very curious who the developers are. I think that's going to be revealed to us not long from now, hopefully. But it's good to at least have a release date, and in general, it's just, it's good to be back with this series, and can't wait to get my hands on it come November. So yeah, Mario and Luigi Brothership just looks like a blast, and I can't wait to play that, uh, and Echoes of Wisdom as well. So come the fallish period of 2024, yeah, we're gonna have a lot to get through, and I love it, man. The more that we have to play, the better. Yeah, I'll see you guys then when we stream this over on Twitch, and for many more things before that down the line, I think I'm gonna be coming back soon in about three or four days now for the Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree, so that's when I'll see you guys next on stream. So yeah, stay tuned for a bunch of epic adventures down the line. Like I said, it's so good to have a lot of things to look forward to, right? All Just more games that excite us, more games that we want to play and kind of feature on stream to keep the stream dream alive. So anyways, that's what I'm going to end this on and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for checking out these trailers with me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive. And as always, keep on keeping on.